Hello, rock skipping fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today, in our seemingly endless series on USB forensics, the next thing that we're after is going to be our volume serial number. The volume serial number is the serial number given to the volume on the device. This is not unique forever. It's only unique for the time that that volume exists. So it's unique to that volume and you can use that volume serial number as correlation uh, across different artifacts that you'll find on the device. So we need to get out of our NT user uh, hive and we're going to jump back into our software hive. So in our software hive, the next place we want to go is Microsoft and then Windows NT current version and then EMD management. Well now, hold on, we've got this key highlighted and it's empty. There's nothing in there, Kevin. How does this help me? Well, this is important. The EMD management key is tied to something called ReadyBoost. We're not talking about ReadyBoost in this series, uh, but understand that that's what drives the population of this key. If the computer you are analyzing has a solid state hard drive, it is not going to have anything populated in the EMD management key. It's only going to have stuff uh, populated there if this is a spinning hard drive. So we don't have a volume serial number in this case, at least not this way. There's other ways to pull it out. It's just that they're going to be outside of the scope of what we're talking about uh, here today. But I do want to show you what it looks like on a spinning hard drive. This EMD management key, you can see we're at Microsoft, Windows, Windows NT, current version, EMD management. Then we would get this long, ugly list. You're going to look for your device and your serial number. Make sure you match the serial number. You're going to see the volume name. This 22624169400, that is our volume serial number. Now the next thing that we can do with this is we can uh, put it into a scientific calculator and we can convert it to uh, hexadecimal. That's usually how it's portrayed is in hexadecimal, but, but telling people uh, in decimal is fine too. In hexadecimal, this converts to 86D9-BE2C. So if we look at what we now have, once again, we're getting ahead of ourselves, uh, we have our volume serial number both in hexadecimal and in decimal. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.